Hi everyone, my name's Danielle. My wife's name is Amy, she's not here because she's at work. Most of the time when you see these, it'll probably be me, but if I can convince her to come in front of the camera, then um, she'll be in a few of these as well, but it'll mostly be me. This is a picture of us on our wedding day. Um, we have been married for almost two years now. It'll be two years in September um, and together for six in August, so quite a while. And we've been talking about starting a family for a long time and we are finally in the process of doing that. Actually, we are set to start our first IUI as long as everything comes back fine. Um, as far as like, if I respond to medications, which I'm not sure what I'm going to be taking yet. I'm supposed to call on cycle day one, which should actually be tomorrow. Um, so sometime this week for sure. And then once I call, they'll let me know what medications we're supposed to be taking and for how long and all that stuff and as long as everything continues to come back normal then we will be starting with our first IUI this month so that's nerve-wracking and exciting and a million other things all at once um, but we actually started the process in January and then um, starting with like consultations and figuring out where we even wanted to go to start, um, find out if our insurance covers anything, which it doesn't. Um, and then getting all the blood tests that you have to get and then the okays and all that stuff. So now that we're all clear and everything looks good, we are now, like I said, in the process of actually getting to start with the IUI. So we're both very excited, very nervous, um, but mostly excited. <laughs> So I guess we'll see how it goes. We live in California, in Northern California. Um, so we decided to go with um, California IVF as our place. A little, we have this little packet from our consultation. Sorry about the glare, my window's right in front of me. And it comes with like all bunch of, a whole bunch of information. Um, in the consultation, they have you sit down with the doctor and they kind of tell you um, the different options that you have pricing, what to expect, um, the tests that need to be done, what to expect when you take the um, medication, all that kind of stuff. And I can totally go over that um, in a separate video if that's what you guys want. I just wanted to kind of do this as an introduction. That's where I'm at and then as long as everything goes well, ultrasounds and follicle growth is fine then we will be doing the IUI this month which is super exciting um, because it is also my wife's birthday this month so we have a lot of like awesome things going on in May we have a really busy May which is also going to be kind of hard to do with all the stuff we have like my wife's best friends coming in and we're not telling anybody that we're doing this which is kind of weird that I'm putting it on YouTube but I highly doubt that anyone will that I know will see this video until I tell them, which won't be hopefully until we get a positive and we're ready to tell people. But yeah, so right as of right now, we are not telling our family, we are not telling our friends. Uh, we made that decision to hopefully like alleviate some of the stress that comes along with it. We didn't really want people, um, like our friends, to be asking all the time like, oh, how's it going? Just because if we do get some disappointing news, which we may, you know, everyone you know, does, it's not guaranteed. And it may not work the first time, second or third time. So just to alleviate some of those questions and some of the stress that come, already comes along with it, we just felt it was best to kind of keep it to ourselves for now. I did want to make these videos mostly because, um, you know, I, it's hard keeping it a secret. It's hard not telling people. And it's awesome being able to connect with other people who are going through the same thing and you know, who have experienced it already or who are also going through you know, it. We can look back and see where we started to where we are and hopefully um, it'll be fun to look back and you know I, I plan on if hopefully when we get that positive to keep going with the vlogs and or to vlog and to keep going with some of the videos and stuff like that because um, I like doing it hopefully my wife will be more involved I think she will eventually but um, it's gonna take her a, while, a little bit of time to warm up <laughs> so and yeah just like kind of have some type of support community other than me just talking to my wife about it all the time which is great and awesome but at the same time it's nice to be able to vent to other people who are going through the same thing or having trouble trying to find information I mean when we first started 
I just Googled everything under the sun and sometimes I found information and sometimes I didn't. I mean, we are um, a lesbian couple trying to have a baby and there's just not as much information as there would be if we were a straight couple trying to have kids and having issues. So, and you know, there's not like a guideline or a book to read for you to figure out what to do first. Where do you start? Like, how do you start? And for us, what I did was I made an appointment with my just general doctor um, who I really like and went in and told her kind of like what we were looking to do and to see if like um, my insurance covered anything, which unfortunately came back that it didn't. That kind of sucked, but that's okay. We'll move past it. But she got me started on like all my blood work. She kind of had an idea of what they were gonna want. So I kind of got a jump start on all that. So that way when I did finally go in for a consultation, they asked for, you know, they write you up like this big old list. I don't know if I have it with me, but um, a list of all these different tests that you have to get done. And it's a little overwhelming because it's like a giant list and you're like, oh my God. And for me, I don't like needles and I don't like, oh, that's my, that's my kitty. Um, Amore, but we call her sister. Um, anyways, I don't like needles. They, it, to me, it is not exciting getting your blood drawn. I mean, not that it would be exciting for anybody. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to like pass out. I'm freaked out, blah, blah, blah. So it made it easier for me because it broke it up. I didn't have to take, you know, like 17 blood tests at one time. I had six and then, you know, whatever else was left. So it made it easier. And I kind of had a jump start on it. So when he asked for it, I had quite a few of them already done. So it was good. It's like a waiting game. You have to start with your blood test, wait for it to come back. And if that's okay, then you have to do a saline ultrasound, which was the most uncomfortable thing ever. I hated it. Everything came back fine. Like they didn't find any like polyps or any, any blockages or anything like that. And it wasn't super long or anything. It was actually pretty quick, but it was just very uncomfortable, uh, very uncomfortable feeling. I can do a completely different video on that if anyone's interested in that. But yeah, anyways, so you do that and then once you get done with the um, saline ultrasound, they know right away whether or not anything's wrong. And then there's nothing wrong and basically you're just waiting until your next cycle day to start. And once you start with that, then, um, you know, if they are gonna do a medicated cycle, then they prescribe you whatever. And that's kind of like where I'm at now just waiting for cycle day one so I can call and then find out what it is that they want to put me on, which I am honestly nervous about that. I've heard about some of the side effects of like Clomid and um, some of the other ones. And generally I don't get very many side effects when I take medicine or medication, which the thing is I don't take medication often. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> So uh, hopefully I don't get a lot of those um, side effects, but if I do, I mean, I'll just deal with it for the, I think it's five days that you take it. No big deal. So yeah, I am more just doing this just so that I could sit down and talk about my experiences and hopefully it'll help somebody else out there trying to do it. I know I found so much inspiration and I found it so helpful to watch a bunch of other people's videos. If there's anything that specifically that you want to know more about, how I chart, oh, I have like all my, this, I forgot I was going to talk about this ovulation stuff. So I started tracking ovulation back in January. So we're now going to be going in May. So I've been tracking it for a little while. It was a lot to like read up on and <laughs> learn about ovulation. I use these, the Wanfo. I bought them on Amazon and they come in like a giant packet. At first, I didn't think they were working and they were really hard to read, I'm not gonna lie. It was hard to find out if I was getting a positive reading or, I mean, cause the, there's a test line and your line has to be darker or at least as dark as the test line. And sometimes it's hard to tell if it is, you know, you always wanna think it's positive, but sometimes, it could not be, you know? So I found it hard to kind of read them. So I kind of gave up on them at first, but then I started getting some like really clear positives. Like it was clear that I was getting a positive test. They do work. They're just, it's more like, it's like you gotta try and figure out if it's positive or not. If you are in, you know, the process of starting or have been starting, I would recommend the Wanfo ones. I got them on Amazon. I can try and link them below. Um, they're, they have been really good. I bought the clear blue um, ovulation set, a one month supply, just because we're going into like, we're actually 
going to be uh, trying with the IUI and I wanted something that was a little bit more um, advanced I guess than just the Amazon ones. So I'll be using both of them to be honest with you this month just to track it and make sure that we're on like on track to do the IUI. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. I want to do a lot more video just because I know that there's so much information and it's hard to figure out where to start, what to do. So if there's anything that you guys want to know about, um, like how we got started, we did pick a donor. So we already got that. It's already been purchased. We are literally ready to go <laughs> and we've been ready to go for a while. Let me know if there's any questions. I would love to go um, more in detail with some of the process that we've had so far. And absolutely like coming up to May and it being like our first possible IUI month, I plan on um, totally doing more videos about the experience and um, about our process and what we've had to go through um, to get to the IUI and all of that stuff. So please let me know if there's anything that you want to know. Um, I'd be glad to answer questions. Thanks for checking me out and um, I will talk to you next time. Have a good day. Bye.